Hi Conley Clan fam! Today you are going to want to catch this grocery haul because it is the biggest grocery haul we have ever done in one day. We have had to change the way we do our shopping because here in the town we live in there is no really super close stores. There is an HEB that's in town, uh, but it is a small HEB. And so we decided that we were gonna shop at Walmart and Aldi today. And we did our monthly Walmart order, which is normal, but we did two weeks of Aldi shopping. So stick around and check out how much we got. So what we did was I went ahead and got online and we did a Walmart order. Um, but you know what? When I hit checkout, it did not check out all the way. So Sean is there shopping now for everything I needed. I sent him my list and him and Rosie and Charlie are getting that stuff. And I have Emma and Elena here helping me. They helped me set everything out behind me. We did two weeks of shopping at Aldi, which was um, really not easy. <laughs> we got to the store, we had to drive there. I tried doing a pickup order. It's like 45 minutes away. Um, and that one wouldn't go through either. So we had to take all 12 of us and go to Aldi and get two weeks worth of food. So we are having to shop a little bit different since there aren't stores that are close to us. Um, so the next two weeks, I will probably go to HEB and we'll see if this works out for us. We'll do maybe a monthly Walmart, a two week Aldi, and then a two week at HEB. And we'll see how that goes. Um, HEB here in town seems like the prices are pretty reasonable. So I'm hoping that that doesn't really increase our budget, but I did notice that at Aldi, the prices were a lot higher than what, we're, what we normally pay. I don't think that has anything to do with being here in Texas because they seemed comparable to Nebraska when we were here in January. Um, but I do think that that has to do with just what's going on in the world right now. So we are paying a little bit more for groceries, but we paid a lot for our orders today. So I will tell you at the end of the video, everything, um, all the amounts that we had today and how much everything cost and what it all added up to. So let's start into the groceries. Okay, first we're gonna start with the meals, like as in dinner meals. And a couple of these are lunch meals too, but most of them are dinner. I have buns, so I got three hot, actually we got, what? Okay, sorry, two hot dog buns. And I got one, two, three hamburger buns. We got uh, the frozen hamburgers. And actually HEB did have these. I ended up finding them. They were just in a completely different spot than what I thought. And so um, we can go ahead and get those the next time we go there. But I got these today. We usually grill these out and um, we grill brats. So we got those today and we already still had some hot dogs. So I didn't get any more of those. So we're gonna grill out for a meal. This hamburger right here represents enchiladas. They did not have any enchilada sauce or the uh, tortillas that we buy. So Sean is picking that stuff up at Walmart. But this hamburger here is gonna be used for enchiladas. We got fajita stuff. So we've got the shrimp and the chicken and the carne piccata. Uh, we've got the sweet peppers, the onions, and all of that stuff there represents the fajitas. Three bags of chips with hamburger. Um, that is going to be for our nachos. But I've got our stuff right here that goes along with nachos, but it also goes along with like our enchiladas and if we have tacos. And so we've got four things. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, actually six things of sour cream. Woo! And we've got one, two, three, four queso dips. We've got two olives and then we got two different kinds of salsa. The kids love this kind. Um, and then Sean and I really love this fresh cut salsa. And so we use both of those when we have um, our Mexican nights. 
And um, so that stuff right there, along with the shredded cheese and the taco seasoning, uh, we use all of that for our Mexican dishes. So the enchiladas, the tacos, the nachos, um, anything like that. So we've got the hamburger, one, two, three, four, five, six taco seasonings, three bags of shredded cheese. Um, that stuff will be used for nachos. We have the sweet Hawaiian rolls. So we got one, two, three, four of those. Um, we are gonna make sliders. I just think sliders are so good and we don't have them very often. So I got hard salami to go on that, uh, along with ham and oven roasted turkey breast. I thought that would be good on the sliders. We also, I have cheese. Um, we bought like some provolone and we bought some mild cheddar. And I also, and I like this, I don't know if the kids will like it, but I got some Swiss also. And then we got the square kinds in those. Um, that will be for sliders. The lettuce uh, goes with our uh, Mexican nights, so that goes like on our tacos and our enchiladas and our um, nachos. Elbow macaroni, we are gonna make goulash. The kids love this, they request it all the time. So that takes elbow macaroni, uh, that takes ground beef, and then this time instead of two, I bought three of the tomato juices because uh, last time our noodles were a little dry, so I'm gonna try using three instead this time. I have a couple fun things we're gonna make this time. I asked the kids uh, for some ideas, and so the pepperoni, and the shredded mozzarella, which I got three bags of that. We are going to make our own pizza. And I, I found a dough recipe. Um, so we already had the stuff for that. And I found a pizza sauce recipe that uh, calls for tomato paste and the whole crushed tomatoes. Um, and we are going to try making our own pizza dough and our own pizza sauce. And then we're gonna have these are toppings, and then we can use some like if we don't if we don't use all of this, the kids could use that. We could use some of the olives over here from the Mexican nights. Um, so we we could have all kinds of toppings on it, which I think will be really good. But usually the kids just like pepperoni. All right, another fun thing um, that the kids had an idea was doing lunch bowls but making our own. So we got crackers for that, and pepperoni and ham and some of the summer sausage, and then also we're gonna use the square cheeses for the Lunchables. So again, I got the cheddar, the provolone, and the Swiss. And we got a little treat up here. Jade was like, well, Lunchables have treats. They need to have a treat in them. So we got the Rice Krispie treats uh, for that. So that will be for lunch one day, and that will be Lunchables. I got these um, chicken nuggets, but I got honey battered. I thought that would be kind of fun to try the honey battered chicken nuggets. So that will be just for an easy dinner night. I bought spaghetti. We tried linguine and the kids hated it. So I got the angel hair pasta and then three jars of the tomato or the sauce, the pasta sauce for our spaghetti. All right, another fun thing that's new to us is drummies. We're going to make some buffalo drumsticks. Uh, we love Cholula and so I got, uh, let's see, one, two, three of the smaller drummy packs and then I got one of the family size and hopefully this will be enough to feed all of us. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to do something different again and I can't remember which one of the kids had this idea. But um, I think it was Emma and I think Rosie also had mentioned doing the drumsticks. So that will be fun. We might film that because I think that will be fun to film that and making the pizza too. We got these noodles back here. Uh, these are for butter garlic noodles. We'll probably need an extra box, but um, that is going to be for butter garlic noodles. This right here is for um, just this chicken and the kids call it yellow rice. And I do have a bag of chicken over here too that um, looks like it didn't get set up here. Yeah, so here's the um, frozen chicken tenderloins we got. I love making these in the crock pot. And then uh, they are so tender and they literally just fall apart. And so we put that in this, ch this rice here and it makes chicken and yellow rice and the kids really love that. 
kielbasa. I got two kielbasa for dirty rice. Now I know that there is a way to make your own dirty rice. We've never tried it. And since we were doing so many other things different this time, um, I thought we would wait and just get the box kind. And then maybe one of these times I would like to try making it from scratch. So we got three boxes of the dirty rice and then two kielbasas to go in that. And then looks like maybe last on our dinner table here is our sheet pan dinner. So we do the sweet peppers, broccoli, uh, shrimp. So I got one, two, three, there's four bags of shrimp here. One of these may end up going into our fajitas, but uh, we got the shrimp and then we got some zucchini and um, the kielbasa, two kielbasas for this meal as well. So that will be for a sheet pan dinner. So it's called sausage and shrimp sheet pan dinner. And we will do that for a night. Next, let's do breakfast and snacks. So we of course have to have our morning coffee. So Sean's getting K cups, I think at Walmart. And um, so we got some caramel macchiato creamer for that. We got cereal, we got our marshmallow and stars, our cinnamon, we got two boxes of chocolate, the kids love that, frosted flakes, fruit rounds, shredded wheat, cocoa, peanut butter puffs, which is Jade's favorite, uh, the Captain Crunch, the kids berry crunch, and the honey grams. Of course you have to have milk to go with it, so we got three gallons of 2% milk, and then one thing of coconut milk there, I still have an almond in the fridge. So I just grabbed a coconut. We can't find coconut at H-E-B. So I made sure to grab that. And we got bagels. We're also getting some um, spread for those, some cream cheese spread. It's a different kind. I'm excited to see what the kids think of it. I think they're gonna love it, but that's from Walmart. That will be coming up. Maple and brown sugar instant oatmeal. I've been trying to get the kids to switch to the old fashioned oats, um, much healthier and then putting a little bit of milk and brown sugar on it. Uh, some of the kids are actually liking this. So we got this. Also, we are gonna try to make some homemade granola. So that is where the honey comes in. Uh, so that way we can have homemade granola for breakfast. I thought that would be fun to try doing that. And also I think that would be much healthier. We got two of the toaster tarts. They ran out um, and they only had this kind. So we got that the cinnamon brown sugar which the kids love that anyways so uh that's for our pop tart friday we got our sausage so one two three four five six boxes of our sausage links for breakfast we got yogurts um i got just a couple strawberry banana and then the rest strawberry and then i got 10 of the vanilla yogurts here uh so the kids love the vanilla a couple of the kids love the strawberry hopefully that will last us for two weeks but I, they go through that pretty fast snacks um whoops let me say we got eggs our chickens have not been laying eggs very much so we did get two um, of the 12 pack of eggs just to supplement uh, they did lay eggs today so i'm hoping that the, they will get back on track these are a filler in case they don't Popcorn, okay, so here's our snack items. The kids love the popcorn, we got two boxes of that. We got two of the cheese cracker rounds, two of the peanut butter cracker rounds, we got club crackers, we got graham crackers, I got cinnamon, and here's my honey right here. I stopped buying these vanilla wafers because Jade was waking up in the middle of the night and seeking them for a snack. Um, and so somebody asked me one time, why do you call that sneaking? Well, she's not supposed to eat in the middle of the night because she has problems waking up a lot and we're trying to get her on a regular routine. So really she's um, supposed to wake up, go potty, go straight back to bed. But um, she was waking up and sneaking me. So I stopped buying them, but she promised me <laughs> that we could do a redo. And so we're gonna try that. But the kids love these. This will probably be gone in a day, I swear. We got, uh, let's see, what else? The granola bars. I bought a box of peanut butter, a box of mixed, and then three boxes of chocolate chip because chocolate chip is the favorite. Breakfast bars. Christian has been on a breakfast bar kick, so he loves these. We got three of the apple bars, one strawberry, one blueberry. We got a box of the cheese crackers. The kids like these. And um, Sean and I love those cheese cubes, so I got just one package of those for now. Apple sauces. The kids 
love having these. Christian will come up to you and say, apple, apple, apple. And so he loves having these. You can see they've already broken into them. Uh, I got a bunch of them that are missing. But we bought two packs of the original, two packs of the strawberry, and two packs of the cinnamon. So um, as soon as they got home from Aldi, they all got into those because they really love the applesauce. Pumpkin seeds, those are for me. Pepitas, I love having these on salads. If you haven't tried it, you should. Uh, they are so good. Dried blueberries, dried cranberries, dried cherries. Those three are for Christian. He loves dried fruit. And also the raisins are for him. Rosie loves these uh, cheese dip and crackers. Christian is starting to love them too. He asks for these along with his applesauce. Um, so, but I just only got one pack of those this time. And then our fruit. We've got a pineapple. I might use that to make smoothies. The kids have been asking for smoothies, so we might put that in our smoothies. I got um, two packages of the Red Delicious apples. I got actually three packages of the blueberries. Uh, they were on sale. Uh, for a really good price and so I went ahead and got three of them but on the way home Christian ate one so uh, that that one's gone but I did get three we got two mangoes I had Emma ask me um, if she could get a mango she's been wanting one and so I went ahead and got two uh, that way the kids could try it and see if they actually like it I don't know how many of them have actually had a mango I got grapes for fruit salad um, and then just to eat. So I got two bags of those. Uh, the kids like to break into the grapes all the time. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to make some chicken salad. So I got one of those for chicken salad. Two of the strawberries. The kiwis. Now I haven't bought kiwi in a long time. We thought Rosie was uh, maybe allergic to it because her mouth gets all red. But we had her tested and she is not. So uh, we went ahead and bought some kiwis this time. They're usually expensive. They weren't too bad this time. Mandarin oranges, we got uh, those because uh, the kids, if you watched our last grocery haul, you know that after the kids eat a meal, instead of having seconds, uh, they will usually grab an apple or an orange. And so we always keep these on hand uh, for them to have that. Chips, I got ranch flavored, they're like Doritos, uh, nacho cheese flavored chips, the wavy potato chips, and then Sean likes having um, these tortilla chips. So I got this kind. We also got uh, a snack combo pack down here of chips. And then of course our toilet paper and our big rolls of paper towels. Over here, I got trash bags. We bought some black trash bags. We've been having some problems with our trash. They uh, didn't pick up the first week they were supposed to. Um, and so we're having to put a lot of it in these bags. We needed more of those. Um, let's see. We've got some regular trash bags and some oil. So some olive oil and some olive oil spray. That is just for some cooking stuff. We got mustard, two mustards and two ketchups just to keep those on hand. Um, I loved the, I love these diced tomatoes with the chilies in them. Um, I use them for like burrito bowls and things. I didn't have any recipes this time, but I wanted to get two of them just to keep them on hand, uh, just in case, cause sometimes they're out of them and I, uh, I really like using those. Okay. If you guys see this and if you've been watching our grocery hauls for a while, you know, Sean's, uh, love for making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So. This is how much he loves making peanut butter and jelly. And a lot of this will probably go in a storage pantry. Um, but I just thought that this was hilarious. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got 12 jellies. And let's see how many peanut butters he got. One, two, three, four, five, six peanut butters, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, you gotta laugh with me. So I also got some grape juice uh, for Gavin to use in his vitamin C and the littler kids. Pickles, I got two different kinds. They're both dill, but one are spears and one are the whole. And the kids love pickles, so I probably should have bought more of those, but that's a little bit of a treat for them. They've been loving this stuff on their popcorn. It looks like it's probably horrible for them, but um, they, they saw it and wanted some. So I told them yes. They got ranch this time. That's a different flavor than we're used to. 
We got some extra mayonnaise and four barbecues. And this is a different kind. I don't know if Sean just wanted to maybe try this one out or maybe they just changed the label. But we usually we get uh, Sweet Baby Ray's. So this is a, a different kind. We got two bags of potatoes. We're talking about making um, potatoes with one of our dinners or doing maybe a potato bar. So we got chili because Rosie asked for chili cheese potatoes. Um, so we got that to go with the potatoes. Down on the end of our cabinets, we've got a couple treats. Sean bought, looks like, two of the Swiss rolls for the kids and probably himself, and the oatmeal cream pies. Now, Sean really loves sweets. He loves sweets, and I love salty, which is why I got the pumpkin seeds. Um, and then we've got our energy drinks down here. Looks like he got 12, 13, 14, 15 of them. They're usually out of stock, uh, but I'm so glad to see that they had them because they are a good deal. And then we've got Strawberry Kiwi Capri Suns, um, and I thought this would be fun. Emma had mentioned we could do these with our Lunchables, and I thought that was a great idea, so we'll have those when we have our Lunchables. Okay, we had to put some things away and reset up. So here we go with the rest of the Aldi order. We've got five loaves of bread. I got three of the... Uh, it's like a regular top and then I got two of the sandwich top which they're more square and we've got pizza rolls for a lunch corn dogs Charlie loves these we haven't had them in a long time so um, we got some corn dogs tuna the kids love to have tuna so Jade and Elena love tuna I got some just regular canned tuna and then I also got some of these pouches we've got the spicy kind um, and the lemon kind we got Macaroni and cheese. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four. So six times four is what, guys? 24. 24 boxes of mac and cheese. I was going to buy like four of them, and Sean's like, why don't you just buy a whole case? So I was like, okay. Two bottles of ranch. I prefer the kind um, in the packet that you mix with sour cream, but the kids and Sean like this. So I got this ranch, two bottles, so that way we have a backup. A thing of lettuce, I showed you one thing already for our Mexican nights, but I got one so I could have salads. Cucumbers, two cucumbers for my salads. Pizza, these we call lunch pizzas. I got one, two, three, four, five, six of the pepperoni lunch pizzas. Chimichungas, we've got one chicken and one steak. These are a really easy lunch, I like those. Uh, the kids, a couple of the kids really like those. Sean wanted these to snack on, so we got him some semi-sweet chocolate chip morsels. Uh, we are going to try making mozzarella sticks. Elena had said she thought that would be fun, so um, we are going to see if we can make them. They were all out of string cheese, so we ended up getting this kind, the block cheese, and we're going to see if we can cut that up and make them instead. Chicken stock. Um, I don't have anything in particular for this, but I just wanted to have some of this on hand. Broccoli and carrots. Now this is for a snack, um, a healthy snack. Uh, John loves broccoli and most of the other kids love these carrots. And so we got that for snack. Kleenexes uh, to have on hand, some cream cheese just to have on hand, some stick butter. I feel like I use this a lot more than I think I'm going to. So I wanted to have some of this. Pizza, this is a dinner night, so an easy dinner night. We got two pizzas, um, I got pepperoni, and then Emma asked if I would get combo or supreme, so I got a supreme pizza also. We, um, I think I've only had that once, so the kids don't usually like that, um, but no harm in having it occasionally. Black beans to keep on hand. Um, I do like making burrito bowls, so I could always use them for that, or we use those sometimes in our tacos. Flour and sugar, an extra of the flour and sugar. Uh, we will probably me be needing that. We are trying to do more homemade things. And so I think that will be helpful to have that stuff. Green beans, I got four cans of green beans and four cans of the sweet corn. And that is just to have as a side um, for our dinner, one of our dinner nights. And last, if you guys know me well, you know I like my white Zinfandel wine. So I grabbed a case of this. It is $2.95 a bottle at Aldi. And so that is really cheap. And so um, the running joke is that I always have to get at least one bottle per child. So I think that one of, this case even includes one for my husband. 
<laughs> so anyways, that is a joke, guys. But I got a case of white Zinfandel. Guys, I almost forgot I found these on my other table. Uh, two things of soap. We got a blue and a green. I, got, I grabbed the blue and then Emma said, oh my gosh, can we get green? And so I said, sure. So we got one of each, so we will have an extra on hand. So the question that I bet everyone is dying to know, what did we spend today? So I'm gonna tell you, we did two checkouts. I shopped um, and Sean shopped with me with the kids and we put things in, we had two carts going and those two carts got full so he took them to the checkout and he checked those two carts out, bagged them and put them in the car while I was finishing up the shopping. So we had three, <laughs> three carts at Aldi full. Um, and so then when he was all done loading up, I was done shopping the third cart and we checked that one out, loaded it up and the total for Aldi, <laughs> this should be hopefully for two weeks. $725.01. Now, Sean is at Walmart finishing up our monthly Walmart shopping. And so when he gets back, we will show you what we got from Walmart and how much that was, and then give you a total for the day. Sean and a couple of the kids that went with him are back. So here is what we got for Walmart. Let me go through it real quick. So we got a, a little rug to put around the toilet. Uh, we don't have any rugs or anything here. We didn't bring anything, so uh, that would be nice to have. Christian needed some extra socks. His feet are getting bigger, if you can believe it. He is a growing boy, so I needed more socks for him. Some Q-tips we got. We were getting low. Uh, hand soap. So I always like to have a couple extras, and um, we go through soap a lot, so that's a good thing. Uh, we got three different kinds. Good nights. Unfortunately, I can't seem to get Gavin out of those. So uh, we are still buying them. I think I'm going to have Christian out of them before Gavin is. Shaving cream. That's for Sean. I got vitamin C because we like taking vitamin C to stay healthy. Some ibuprofen. I needed an extra bottle. That way we don't run out. We have some conditioner and some shampoo. Some face wash. These are just extras I keep in our cupboard. Bag balm. I was 100% out of this. And Christian gets diaper rash so easy. Uh, that is the only thing we have found that works. Some melatonin. Um, we have had Emma having some trouble uh, sleeping. Um, and so I think everything being so new for all of us. Because you know sometimes I have a hard time falling asleep. Which is really weird for me. I've got uh, some of the kids three in one and uh, we use that just for the littler kids and then the Aussie which is mine so a combo pack shampoo and conditioner we've got the baby wipes uh, I always keep extras of those on hand because we go through them and so that is just an extra pack I got a tablecloth for the uh, table that Sean made uh, just to cover it up a little bit I got some 409 for cleaning. Um, I still have one of those, but we like to keep extras because we use that a lot for cleaning. Uh, I got Sean an extra shampoo. That's the kind he uses. And then just a couple extra deodorants to keep on hand. Um, again, I just like having extras of everything. We didn't have any extra toothpaste, and this is what Sean and I use, so I had him get two. Uh, and then we got a dog brush because there are a lot of cockaburs here. And so we're always having to um, pull them out of the dogs. And this is just a brush to help hopefully brush them out. Ramen, I did not get very much. We haven't been going through the ramen or the canned items really that much. Uh, so you won't see really any canned items here either. Usually I get the mac and cheese, but the kids have been choosing to have other things. So I got six of the chicken and six of the hot and spicy chicken. Uh, we got, we are going to, can you believe it, start potty training Christian. I cannot believe that it is that time. Um, so, but he will tell us when he's gone to the bathroom in his diaper. So I think he is ready and I hope so because that means for a little bit anyway, I won't have any kids in diapers um, except for Gavin who wears pull-ups at nighttime. But he loves Baby Shark. It is like his favorite, favorite thing to watch and so... Sean bought him a baby shark one, which I thought was really fitting. 
And then we don't have a scale here and I am wanting to try to lose some weight. Um, I always say that, but it's really hard for me. Uh, so I got a scale so I can keep track of where I'm at uh, just to see if I'm doing any better as uh, the longer we're here and the more we're trying to change up our eating. Breadcrumbs. We are going to make um, the mozzarella sticks and so we needed that and Aldi didn't have them. My ranch packets. I put those in sour cream. That is the only kind of ranch I really like. Uh, I don't usually use the bottle kind. The big cheese. I had to get two this time because last time the kids ate every single pack and I got none. <laughs> and so I got two just to be safe. We got the enchilada sauce for our enchiladas that Ollie didn't have. I got just two soups. Sean does not want me eating these. He thinks it might be part of my problem um, with my medical condition that I have. Um, and so we're, we're going to try seeing if we can get off can items and more fresh and homemade things. Some yeast, uh, that is to make our pizza dough. The brown sugar and cinnamon cream cheese spread, the kids love this, they're going to be so excited. Uh, we don't usually buy this, I bought it one time and they thought it was so good. So I got that again. And apple juice, uh, I bought a grape juice, I did not buy apple juice. This one's a little bit cheaper um, and you get more. Uh, than Aldi has and so I thought we would get that from Walmart we put our vitamin C in that for our little kids our honey roasted peanuts that is a snack for Sean our Lawry's that is an extra one we use that for a lot of things our eggs uh, we put them in our scrambled eggs we use it on our hamburgers um, usually I use that in my crock pot chicken uh, we use Lawry's for just about everything our bacon bits, I use those on salad. Um, I love having just some lettuce, some bacon bits, some cheese, and some pepitas. So that is for me. And down here I have our Tide because we do a ton of laundry. And I only got one because I happened to run up uh, to the dollar store and grab a different Tide. Um, and so I do have a backup just in case. We've got, let's see, the toilet paper. We got some from Aldi but um, I grab some from Walmart too. I usually will get one from Walmart, one from Aldi, and then if I need to get another one from Aldi throughout the month, I will. Sean picked up these hangers for me. Now we got two boxes of them. Uh, we have the kids' clothes right now laying out, just set on um, some items because I didn't have enough hangers to hang them up. Uh, we have tons of hangers at home, unfortunately, I don't have them here and we need to really hang these clothes up so we can get organized. So Sean bought two 50 packs and hopefully that will be enough to hang up the kids uh, clothes that aren't hung up yet. And then last item is our Huggies diapers. Christian is a size 4. He's, although he's like, I had 27 pounds, he is barely in a size 4. So he's, I swear, got just a skinny little waist. Um, but he's just like Gavin. Anyways, we got him his box of diapers. I will probably have to go back. I see there's only 66 in this one. Usually I get the 100. Uh, so we probably will need to get another one of these. Um, but hopefully that will last us a little while until I can get back. Uh, maybe up at HEB. I'm sure they have them. Whoops, I found a package of diapers hidden under our car seat. And Sean also got a shovel and a rake uh, that will be included in our price. So this Walmart order was $363.49. I feel like we really didn't get much for that price. Maybe that's because I just got done shopping at Aldi. Uh, but I. We got what we needed and um, hopefully that will get us through at least most of the month. Uh, I will give you a grand total here for Aldi and Walmart in just a second. Okay, if you can believe it, today I have managed to spend $1,088.50. That is a lot in a day. That is the most that we've ever spent in one day shopping. But I am very happy to say that we did get our monthly Walmart and our two weeks of Aldi. And so I have at least half of my month knocked out. I will have two more weeks that we'll have to go back to the store um, and get meals and like milk and fruit and things like that. I will probably do HEB just because it's close. Um, but 
we will see what I spend there. Hopefully I can save some. I know we're doing a little bit of different shopping and making different types of meals we're not used to. And the prices are really, really going up. Uh, a little frustrating, especially when you have such a large family. So we're trying to figure out ways that we can adjust and uh, spend a little bit less, but eat healthier. So that's kind of hard, I feel like, because I feel like a lot of times healthy things um, cost more. Now they say they don't, but I feel like they do. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching our grocery haul. This is for April. I will be back with our last two weeks of April soon.